Jasmine reporting for Katie Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. I'm here with Chuck and Charlie from the comedy group Charles. Do you have to have a name abbreviated from Charles to be in this comedy group? Um, well, yeah, I mean, that's one of the constraints. You also have to be one of us. Um, <laughs> you have to, so a, a clone of one of us could probably would actually be really nice to have, to be honest. Yeah, it yeah. makes it a lot easier. In the early days, we thought about maybe getting the third or fourth guy, but we don't know anybody else named Charles. Yeah, it's pretty so, rare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's certainly not one that goes by one of the different variations because, you know, Chuck, Charlie. Nobody wants to be Chaz because yeah. you're sort of by default the, He's like the, the underdog, whipping boy yeah. of the sketch comedy group. So, Absolutely. Yeah. How would you guys describe your humor? Uh, we typically get called cerebral, which I think is because we uh, usually write very premise forward stuff. We don't have a lot of stuff that's character based because mm -hmm. uh, both of our backgrounds is in writing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're looking for sort of a, a bite sized quip, we'd say we uh, synthesize highbrow and lowbrow humor into a style we call unibrow. <laughs> so, <laughs> love it. And how does it feel to be here in Toronto for the third time, I believe, uh, for the comedy festival? Uh, it's great. Yeah, this is our third year at the Toronto Sketch Fest, uh, and we were before that in 2010. We performed at the Toronto Fringe, which is actually how we met a lot of the artists in the community here. And everybody in Toronto has always been great, uh, and a lot of those connections we've sort of kept up with. Um, a lot of performers from Toronto tour all over North America. So people we met here, we've seen all over the place. Uh, so it's great. In a lot of ways, it kind of feels like coming back to our, I guess, our Canadian home, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think it might be. It's one of our favorite sketch festivals, maybe our favorite. Chicago is also good. But there's so many things going on, and there's a lot of mingling with other performers, which is why we know people. And we're doing, actually, like five separate shows because of just knowing people and jumping in on a few shows, which is fun, because if you're going to make the trip, you want to get some stage time. So. How has being from Seattle helped influence your comedy? Uh, I think it, in terms of geography, there's not much specific influence other than that Seattle's a pretty cold place where people like to go into theaters instead of, you know, as opposed to San Francisco or Los Angeles where everybody's outside all the time. Uh, but really, it's been more the, uh, there's a really great sort of nurturing comedy scene in Seattle, uh, and we really wouldn't have gotten kind of the ability to cut our teeth so to speak, without the support of all the other artists um, and people who just go out to shows in Seattle. Right. Yeah, I mean, you touched on it. It's sort of a, I mean, it's a pretty nerdy city. I think one of the, uh, shoot, I forgot the name of their sketch group, but uh, somebody outside was commenting on it. Uh, it is a nerdy city, and uh, for that reason, we got to do sort of weirder sketch comedy and develop that voice, mm -hmm. um, which I think has come in handy now that we've learned to hone it for more mainstream audiences. Um, and then... It's certainly suited to, I think, Toronto because it's uh, it's certainly like kind of a comedy nerd city because comedy is so big. So I feel like it, yeah, it plays well. And the two of you met at Stanford, I believe. Yeah. Is this sort of where you birthed your group? Did you start doing the comedy together right away, or did it? You know, did you know each other a few years? Um, well, we actually met writing for a humor magazine um, at Stanford, and uh, and the, so uh, Stanford Chaparral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, we're obligated to plug it and give them 5% of our income for the rest of our lives. But, like a skull and bones yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah, except without <laughs> all the, the perks. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, so we, we did write comedy, but it was very much sort of like a McSweeney's type, just the writing and, so, you know, whoever grabs the magazine reads it. And then we both moved to San Francisco. Chuck started a sketch group called The Wooden Robot, which I was sort of on the periphery of, so we could talk more about that. Yeah, Charlie did some writing for this group that I was in that was sort of a collective of people that I'd worked with in some capacity in college. Um, but Charlie and I sort of had met and were writing for the magazine independently of that, and then he did some writing for The Wooden Robot. That group ended up dissolving after about a year and a half. Uh, everybody kind of did different stuff. Charlie and I wanted to keep working together, so we moved up to Seattle, and that's sort of how Charles got started. And tell me a little bit about your play as well that you have coming out soon. Oh yeah, it's called uh, Charles Presents Moby Alpha. It's basically uh, Moby Dick in space, but funny. Uh, <laughs> and a lot of the production design came uh, from Charlie designed some really sort of ingenious uh, space helmets. Yeah, uh, it, the whole show takes place in, uh, in a blackout, but the, the lighting is done from these LED strips and the helmets that can do, you know, hundreds of different sort of effects and looks. So. The way we differentiate between characters is between colors in their helmets, but then we also have sort of 
hologram type effects and things like that. So it, it's fun. That's sort of the gimmick to get people in the door, and and it helps you feel like you're in space, even though you're in you know a basement theater. Um, we took it to uh, Winnipeg and Edmonton Fringe last year, and now we're just taking it to some American cities. Yeah, we're going to do it in uh, Seattle at the end of this month, and then um, in at Los Angeles and Hollywood actually in uh, in June. And uh, yeah, we hope to bring it to other places. Hopefully, we can bring it back to Toronto. And where's the best place for us to follow you guys and your group, Charles, online? Uh, all over the place. Uh, the best places are facebook.com slash charlescomedy, on Twitter at at charlescomedy, or just on our website at charlescomedy.net. Yeah, and people should know that uh, if they have any questions for us, uh, they can just PayPal us at seattleontimely at gmail.com. So. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations, and have a great time here in Toronto. Great. Thank you, Katie. Thank Thanks, you. Katie. Thanks. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto. Mm -hmm.